Steven Spielberg, with the help of Hugh Jackman, take this robotic future boxing movie to the big screen. In just a few moments, the cast and crew of Real Steel will be showing up at the red carpet here at Universal City. Make sure you don't go anywhere and check our footage out right here. Are you ready for Real Steel? Seeing all this, there's robots and music and Eminem playing. I'm definitely a, a boxing fan and I like the actors in this too. Hugh Jackman, Evangeline Lilly, uh, obviously I got introduced to her on Lost and I love that show. Maybe Brother Carl's in the movie. It's good. It's good. It's a long time coming for him. He's done a lot. He just had a baby. So um, I'm really, really proud of him. If you could have one robot that fights in this film, what would your robot do differently? She would intimidate men so much, like just mentally, they wouldn't know what, what was happening and just like, just get an erection so big they get, <laughs> they get really dizzy and then I'd be like, yeah, bang. Nigi, he done. Oh, what's that? Is that Japanese? Apokato Nikai. <laughs> What would you name your robot? Um, I'd probably name him the Punisher, and I'd have him do my chores and take me to school. I'd put like spikes all over him. Working with this cast was amazing because Hugh is just, I keep calling him Prince Charming because not only is he one of the greatest actors, he's also the greatest human being. So he would turn up on set on Fridays with lottery tickets and cigars for everybody and just always on set, really enjoying the process and just being a treat to work with. What are you most excited about this film, man? Um, I'm hope Jackman, Hugh right? Jackman with his shirt off, is that possible? Yeah. Tell us more about your character, uh, your role, you play Tack, is that correct? Yeah, his name is Tack Mashido. very um, serious um, robot designer, uh, kind of like the reclusive legend of the sport, very flashy guy. And um, yeah, I mean, he, he takes his robot fighting very seriously. The cast, the crew, and now to watch it all come come to fruition has been a dream come true. It's been an incredible journey. It's my first, hopefully not my last, but it's been awesome. If you made a female robot, what would she have to do? How would she be a strong, powerful robot? Ooh, that's a tough question. Um, she would have to be stronger than the other robots, obviously, because she has to just um, fearless, fast. Um, Good looking. <laughs> if you could build a robot in real life to fight, what would he have to have? To fight? Yeah. What would he have to have? I'd give him a gun to start with. <laughs> Is that all right? Why didn't we think of that? Why if we get we to make a sequel, <laughs> we're doing a robot with a gun. gun. He would always win. Six shooter. Yeah. Why is this a family film that everybody has to take their kids out to see? It's inspirational. It's going to get you up out of your seat cheering. It'll move you. It's funny. The action. There's something in it for everyone. And I can attest. I saw it with my two kids, 11 and 6, my wife and my mother-in-law, and they all Loved it. Hi, I love you, Jackman. You'll see why when you see your tape because he's incredible. We were able to talk to Hugh Jackman and Evangeline Lilly. Sugar Ray Leonard and Carl Yoon. And like Hugh Jackman said, this is a family film, so take everyone out this Friday to October 7th to see Real Steel. We are signing out on the red carpet of the Real Steel premiere. I'm Amy Lee Lucas. And I'm Chris Tronson.